What's up, everyone? Okay, Nico here. Today we're going to talk about how to turn leads into appointments. And the first two, first goal you got to do is qualify. When you get a response from someone, you have to qualify that there's actually a need, that they have budget, and that they're actually willing to jump on a call with you, which is honestly the second goal. The first goal is qualify, make sure that they're a good person in your target market and can actually benefit from the solution that you have. Then you want to make sure that you want to book a call with them. In a couple of seconds, I'm going to go into exactly how, but the goal is to book a call. Now, there's only two real responses that you're going to get. You're going to get negative responses and positive responses. Negative responses are anything that's that's indicates that they're not ready to talk right now, that they say, no, no, thank you, not interested. Just put those into the negative response category. Now, positive responses have different types. I'm gonna show you right now what hot, mild, and neutral responses look like and what you can do to navigate those and get those booked on the call if they fit your ICP. So let's jump into this really quickly. So again, let's recap. Positive and negative responses, there's no maybes or whatnot. If that's the case, sometimes I default and put them into kind of the mild or in the negative right away. So no, no, uh, never contact me again. No, thank you. Those type of responses go negative. In the positive category, right, let's just say that we go into the uh, the super hot, like they're ready to talk right now. They want to meet, send them a calendar. And if you need, you can pause this video to see how I would go about following up to make sure that, hey, they book a call. But if they want to meet, they're hot, send them a calendar, get it booked as soon as possible. Now, then there is, is, the, is the mild one, right? There are the people that say, tell me more. They want to know more information. So send them a couple of resources, a couple of Loom videos, and make sure to follow up you know, two days after, four days, seven, 14 days. And if they still don't respond, move them either into a mild or follow up later. Or if you have some type of Facebook group or newsletter, send them there. Now, if you get a neutral response, this is a great to meet you, a thumbs up if you get those on LinkedIn, uh, anything that doesn't say that they are directly interested, ask, start asking questions about their business. See if you can be of any value. Mention that you can send resources if you know about their specific problems or what they're going through. Then make sure to follow up as well. So in another video, we'll go into exactly what to follow up because you can send messages, you can like posts, you can engage in other mechanisms that get your, uh, you at the top of their interest and top of mind. So if you have any questions, make sure to let myself know or the team know, and we will talk to you guys very soon.